Hi, my name is Lois Widener, and I was in the U.S. Army, and I was a Spec 6 when I was discharged. I was inducted into the U.S. Army in 1971. I was there almost four years in the military. I, lit, I grew up in a little in the country, in a near a little town in Ohio, and I wanted to see other places in the in the country and in the world. I went to talk to the Air Force, and I was an LPN at the time, and they sent me to the Army because I would get rank sooner in the Army than in the Air Force. I was stationed for about four months, three to four months, in Anniston, Alabama, at Fort McClellan. And then I went um, for about three months to San Antonio, Texas. Um, then I was sent to uh, Fort Benning, Georgia. And after Fort Benning, Georgia, I went to Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, D.C. What would you say was the biggest impact on serving in the military on you personally? I, I learned a lot because <laughs> I was from a little town and I was um, very sheltered. Got to meet people I would have never met and go places I would never have gone. I walked in, the first time I walked into Walter Reed Army Medical Center, Walter Reed was built in the early 1900s, and the hallways were enormous. And I saw them driving like golf carts through the hospital because it was, it was so, it was a very, very big hospital. When I was at Fort Benning and at Walter Reed, both places I had interactions with people that had been in the war zone, not even not just in Vietnam and but also from Korea and during the Korean War. At Fort Benning I was um, at one point I was a ward master and an assistant ward master to a very large OB unit. We did labor and delivery, newborn nursery, and postpartum care. At Walter Reed, I was in charge of a VIP clinic for a colonel, and we saw some dignitaries and some very interesting people. And there I was actually at one point also in charge of a female med surge unit as far as the non-commissioned officers. I had some interesting conversations with several people there. At Walter Reed? At Walter Reed. Famous people that we'd recognize? <laughs> one of them, yes. Oh. <laughs> One of them was a former first lady that was at Walter Reed. And I, I spoke with her one time and she was, her, she was so excited when she would get to see her grandson and her granddaughter. And um, she was just a real treasure. Mm -hmm. She was a very, very interesting lady. And um, her husband had been in a general during World War II. And it's, she was really very cute. <laughs> After I came out of the military, I did go ahead and increase my education with the GI Bill. And um, I, 
there's been many things in many places I've been and seen and different types of nursing that I've done since I've, during the military and since I got out of the military. Are there misconceptions about being in the military? There can be. <laughs> there can be a lot of misconceptions. Some people um, don't value what we've experienced and what we did. And after, um, during it, and after Vietnam, veterans were not accepted very well when they came home from Vietnam. And even being in the military during that time, we weren't appreciated well when we would go to town or do something. Has that changed and how so? I believe it has. I have a son that just retired from the Marine Corps. And yes, I believe that has changed. And the aspect of our military, I may not have gone overseas to the war zone during when I was in, but I, I learned a lot from the people that came back. And I saw a lot from those people and how they were treated. And I believe my son has been all over the world now. And when he's presented to people, there is a lot different than what when I was in. I would, I would encourage young people to go in the military. You know, my mother, and I remember her saying something, and this was like a long time ago, and that was that she thought that, that Israel was correct, that all young people needed to go into the military. And I think she's right, because there's a type of a discipline in the military you don't learn as a civilian. And I think it is good. I think it would be good for all of our people to go in, even if it would only be for a couple of years, for them to go in and serve and learn what their country is about and what the military is about and the military history of our nation. And there's so much that I've learned even after I've been out of the military and how uh, how important it is for our people to learn and for our children to learn that they don't teach in school. I am proud of my country. And you know, when we go through basic training, we're taught about military customs and courtesies. And we're taught about the esprit de corps of our military. And it is very, very true. And I am proud to be an American, and I'm proud to have served my country.